My name is John Borowski and we're here today at Mad Mobster Chicago at the Hilton and it's a phenomenal new convention that focuses on true crime and horror. And I'm here because I do documentaries on serial killers. I write, produce and direct them and I also produce some books based on serial killers. So far I've done four documentaries on serial killers. They're on Netflix and you could also find them on the web at various streaming sites. Well, I always had an interest in horror films. And then when I was a teenager, I was, I don't know whether I could say I was fortunate enough or unfortunate enough to see the actual Dahmer file with Dahmer's pictures that he took of his victims. And that made such an impression on me that I realized, okay, this is reality horror. This is true life horror. And then I thought, I looked back and said, well, you know, Dracula was based on Vlad the Impaler. So I thought, okay, you know, I'm kind of interested in this. So I made a short film called State of Mind. And then I heard about H.H. H. Holmes and his castle of horrors. And I thought, wow, you know, no other serial killer created you know, designed a building basically for murder. But then when I did further research, I realized he went to medical school and I thought, wow, you know, and he had three wives and, you know, he was his own attorney at his trial. So his entire life fascinated me. So I thought, okay, this would be a great subject for a documentary that no one's ever done a film on H.H. H. Holmes before. So I interviewed experts and I created reenactments to kind of resemble old time silent films around, you know, that time period, the early 20th century. And it's, it's turned out to be a, you know, a pretty good hit, you know, as far as people, uh, their interest is concerned in H.H. H. Holmes. Making these films on serial killers, I've studied a lot of forensic psychology and um, unfortunately we still do not know the reasons why serial killers commit these murders. Some people think it's head trauma, environmental or genetic. It's my theory that environmental factors play a huge role in the development of a serial killer, especially between the ages of 7 and 12, when children are actually, you know, forming their, you know, their own minds and personalities. And some of these serial killers could be stuck in that time period, such as Carl Panzram, who was abused and always sought revenge. Um, Jeffrey Dahmer, when he was 18, he was traumatized by his family leaving him alone in a house, totally left him alone to fend for himself. And that traumatized him. So when you look forward, is it a wonder that he tried to collect human bodies you know, to be around him. It's just, you know, there are so many aspects to these cases to study and it's fascinating to me as well as everyone in the general public. I'm working on several documentaries. I'm working on actually one which we're launching a Kickstarter campaign for Vincent Castiglia, who's a painter that paints in his own blood. It's called, it's called Bloodlines and, uh, you know, it's a documentary on his life and his art. Yeah, my films are all over the internet. You could uh, view them streaming or purchase them from Amazon or from my site at johnborowski.com, but they're on Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, iTunes. And you could reach me through my website, johnborowski.com.